Unit Nine: Reforming the Elderly Care Policy, June Sixteenth. From Stan Taylor, Ministry of Health and Welfare, to Christine Lawson, Project Team Leader, regarding New Elderly Care Policy. Dear Christine, please find below some brief introductory remarks I plan to make at the start of the first project meeting. I would appreciate your feedback. This country is facing a significant challenge. That of providing long-term care for the elderly. This issue is only going to grow as time passes. Therefore, it is necessary to reform the government's existing elderly care policy. The elderly population is expected to increase, with the percentage of people over 70 years old estimated to be 35 percent by 2050. The main contributing factor to this is that, thanks to advances in medicine and technology, people are living longer. Furthermore, people are now having fewer children than before, so there are fewer people earning incomes supporting more people who are not. Finally, though traditionally women took on the role of caring for the elderly, a greater proportion of women now work and are unable to do so. Of particular importance in the development of this new policy is that people are permitted to age with dignity. This means that the elderly receive the assistance they require while still having their personal and social needs met. When it comes to the financial aspects of this policy, it is important to leave no stone unturned. In addition to state funding. Private sector companies, both for profit and non-profit, must be considered.